Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of What's Cooking at Vincent Joe's. We have Chef Angelo Loria here with us and uh, what, what do we have today? Uh, today we're talking, it's uh, Easter's coming up, Easter season's coming up, so we want to make sure that we have um, uh, the menu set and just uh, a different twist uh, on, a, on an Easter item. Uh, lamb is huge in the Italian community, a lot of communities, uh, when it comes to Easter. So uh, this is just one variation uh, of ham. It's going to be a herb crusted um, uh, rack of lamb that will slice, uh, cook to a perfect medium rare or whatever you want it to be cooked to. Uh, it's a delicious way to try it, even if you've never had lamb before. Oh yeah, excellent. Are you singling someone out <laughs> there? I'm, I'm not sure. I didn't catch what you were saying. Uh, awesome. So I see we already have the yeah, so we've got, we've got our ingredients perhaps. right here. So we've got uh, our, our lamb. Uh, we've got some salt and pepper, always. Uh, we've got some Dijon mustard, uh, with the, mixed in with a little bit of white wine to thin it out. And then we have some uh, seasoned breadcrumbs with some uh, rosemary and thyme in there, so we get those herbs. Um, and as always, uh, being Italian, everything starts with olive oil. Excellent. So we got to get our pan. Um, when you're searing, we're going to sear these off first. Uh, when you sear it off, you want to make sure your pan is screaming hot so you see this almost smoke coming out of it uh, that way uh, though your protein won't absorb it'll just sear it off which is what we which is the main goal of it um, and also too uh, if this is uh, too complicated or you just don't have the time for it uh, we have a great Easter package that we're offering um, we've got a whole menu of uh, six uh, six courses for the most part um, for about ninety nine dollars a person Including uh, $99 total. Total, including this lovely. And this right here for, for an upgraded right charge? Here. Absolutely. Awesome. Okay, so what uh, you're going to do is take a little bit of salt and pepper and sprinkle it on the meat there. All right, here we go. Need more than that? Yeah, just want to make sure you really hit that yeah. meat. Perfect. Do the same with the second. A little bit more on right there. More right there. Now make sure you really season it up good. This is your one chance to season it up. Yep. Perfect. Oh yeah. That's a beautiful sound. Yep. The sizzle lets you know it's working. Let's try again. Looks good, looks good. Plenty of seasoning on it. And we're just looking, we're not going to fully cook it in here, we're just looking to sear it off. And then we'll finish it in the oven. Awesome. It's just uh, easier to do that way, and that way you can control the cooking temperature, the crust won't burn. Mm -hmm. um, you, you really got to be uh, delicate with lamb. Lamb is, is very tasty. You can get overcooked real quickly. If you do that, you're going to lose a lot of the flavor. It's going to dry out. It's not going to be as uh, uh, the taste that we're looking for. Uh, so going back to the package that, that we're offering. Uh, so we've got um, every Italian dinner starts off with pasta. So uh, we've got uh, pasta available uh, from... Um, the, including the packages, either fettuccine alfredo or penny with meat sauce or, or marinara sauce. But you can upgrade to like pasta forno or a half pan of meat lasagna, which is uh, oh, delicious. Yeah. Uh, and then we have your choice of chicken dishes or a spiral ham. That's included in the package. And you can always upgrade if you wanted to get the lamb or the tenderloin or some prime rib um, just to make it extra special. You can get your choice of vegetable from green beans to succotash primavera to a mix, uh, mixed uh, vegetable medley. Uh, and then we have a start selection from your uh, Parmesan roasted redskins, your agran potatoes, or borsin whipped potatoes. And me personally, I love borsin cheese. Uh, borsin is like a fresh cheese uh, that's mixed in with herbs. It's absolutely delicious. Uh, and then you get your choice of salad, whether it's a traditional uh, Caesar or Vincent Joe signature salad. And uh, you get dessert as well, tiramisu. Excellent. So all for $99. So this package here, is this something that you would have to come in and order in advance or call ahead? Absolutely, yeah. We just ask that you call ahead 48 hours ahead of time so we have it ready for you. We're closed on Easter, but you can take it home uh, fully cooked or you can take it home where your protein uh, is not cooked. So you have to worry about overcooking it or it being dried oh, out. Yeah. So uh, we really, um, with uh, everything that the families have from the kids to soccer to everything else, it's a real simple way just to make sure that you, everyone eats great and it takes the stress uh, off the family. Exactly, and it sounds like a great deal also. So we're looking for that beautiful golden brown right here. Uh, we've got it. Yeah, that looks, looks and smells excellent. All right, so now the next step is going to be brushing on some of that Dijon mustard right onto, these, uh, right onto the meat here. And I assume you, that's uh, my yeah. duty right yeah, here. Yeah, and I'll let you paint the fence here. 
So I'll just I'll do one. And then All right, you yeah. Next. Show me. I don't want to brutally mess it up too bad. Pretty simple. Yeah. <laughs> I was never good at art, so <laughs> painting might be a struggle here. Don't worry about staying inside the line. That they wanted to hold me back in preschool <laughs> for that. And really put it on there too, because that's what we're going to use that as the uh, glue per se. That's going to hold on the herb crust. Is that too not enough, or is that good? Put more on the bottom there. Do you want to bring that herb crust uh, close to us here? You just drop them in, crust it up. Oh, because that's what makes it stick, right? Absolutely, yeah. yep. So, you know, uh, a lot of times you'll see if they make like chicken piccata, we'll use uh, mm -hmm. flour, eggs, and then the breading. But um, with this right here, instead of using the eggs, we've got uh, some wonderfully herb, cru herb crust. And in the herb crust, it's our seasoned uh, breadcrumbs we have at the store with some uh, rosemary and some thyme. Um, it's delicious. And then from here, we're just going to put these right in the oven. That's a beautiful thing. Oven's about uh, 350, uh, and we're going to put it in there for about 20 minutes. Um, but again, we're going to pull it out when it's done, whatever kind of doneness we want. Uh, so, you know, the best way to do it is uh, with an instant read thermometer. Uh, so the thermometer, if you're about 120 degrees, it's a good medium rear. And you can go from there and just be careful of anything that you not uh, cook So past 165. There's, um, just like when you're cooking steaks or anything like yeah. that, you know, you have to give that warning out just in case if it's uh, Yeah, I, I never was good at determining when to, to pull a steak off the grill or something, if I wanted it medium rare, because I wanted it to be cooked enough, but I still like that juicy, medium rare cut. Yeah, so here's a good, uh, here's a good rule of thumb, per se. Uh, so in order to, to check out the doneness, kind of press uh, here on your finger. So this right here, w wide open, mm -hmm. that would be your uh, rear. See, there's no, not much spring back happening to us, kind mm -hmm. of go to your index finger, you get a little bit more spring back to it, but it's still um, mm -hmm. not as, uh, you know, not that tense. Mm -hmm. And then you go down the line, here's your medium. Uh, there's your midwell. See how it's getting tighter and tighter? Yeah. And then um, past midwell, then no, just keep it in the oven. Yeah. You don't really care okay. about the meat yeah, anyway. Yeah. At so that point, fine. just make it like a hockey puck or yeah, something. Yeah, exactly. Like so then um, uh, we'll take it out of the oven after 20 minutes. And we've got our beautiful rack of lamb. Look at that. That is, that, that looks like an art to hey, me. You it's know just, what? It's you did pretty. A good, you did a great job. You always say that, but <laughs> really, I feel like I might have made it worse. <laughs> Uh, so what we'll do now is we'll um, we'll cut it and then with our package, um, if you or if you do get upgrade to the lamb, uh, you'll get three whole racks of lamb, and we'll let you cut it at home. Uh, this way, it stays nice and juice and and, and uh, juicy and moist. Um, so just go right in between. So what is this cooked to right here? This right here is about a medium uh, rare to a medium. Okay, perfect. And then we've got a wonderful uh, agron potatoes here to the side. That will be included uh, in your package if you decide to choose that as your potato. Just in time for uh, St. Patrick's Absolutely, Day. Absolutely, huh? yeah. This almost looks like a slice of pie. Then so we've got sweet potatoes, um, Idaho potatoes, and some uh, smoked gouda in there, some parmesan. Mm -hmm. uh, it's absolutely delicious. So uh, here we go. Here's what we. Uh, our final dish is going to look like. That looks, the, the presentation here is always thank second you. to none Thank also. you, thank you, thank you. The food makes it easy. Yeah. Cooking, with, cooking with good yeah. food. No, yeah, it really does. Wrong. Yeah, it does help a lot. So again, um, if you want to if you want to do this uh, uh, at home, we'll have the recipe online. If you want us to do it for you, uh, give us a call over in our catering department, whether it's Jordan or it's uh, Josh. Uh, give us a call. Um, and we also have things uh, uh, other things available, uh, we have our Dearborn ham uh, right here, sliced. Uh, it's super simple. Uh, you just you take it home, you just put it in your oven, we'll have the glaze, everything ready for you too. So we want to take the stress out of the holidays. So exactly. like we talked about during Christmas, um, yeah. holidays are extremely stressful, parties are extremely stressful, events are extremely stressful. So let us uh, stress out back there so you just uh, have a, a great time at home and enjoy the people that you're with. Yeah, you, you really can't, you can't beat it at all. Always always here you guys are always taking the stress out and you personally kind of teaching me how to expand from making <laughs> cereal and mac and cheese to these incredible dishes here what do you have here also here's just a, just a copy of our um our flyers available uh, online vincentjoes.com 
Um, we have them in the store. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll find them in our e-blasts. Uh, they're absolutely, um, this gives a whole detail of uh, what mm -hmm. you'll be getting with, our, with the package here. So uh, again, um, please give us a call. Uh, come visit us. Uh, if you have any questions about anything, don't hesitate to give us a call. 48 hours in advance, too, if you'd like to order Absolutely. any of these fine dishes Absolutely. or the whole package. Yep. For and that so matter. then we'll have it available for you. Uh, you know, if you want it the Saturday, come on and say if you want it Friday. Whenever you want it before Easter, we'll be able to ready for you. Awesome. Well, that pretty much sums it up here from Vincent Joe's Gourmet Market. I want to thank Chef Angelo and Vincent Joe's here for letting me into your kitchen. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching another edition of What's Cooking at Vincent Joe's.